Hey Aries, it's Nicola. So this is your mid month reading for October 2019. Give me guidance for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, mid October 2019. What guidance do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? All right. So we're going to take this one. True love. Ooh, Aries. I like to see that. It says this is the romance of a lifetime. With heart to our conversations, it says honestly discuss your feelings with each other. We also have engagement and stay optimistic about about your life about your love life. <sighs> it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So you guys could be moving into the next stage of your relationship. With stay optimistic about your love life, it says positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. I do also see some parts of our conversation, so I feel like there needs to be some discussions in order for things to move forward. This is an update, guys. So this is by Par Draw. We will be using the Karma Sutra to clarify. What messages do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Mars? This is for mid-October 2019. What messages or guidance do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and Mars? This is for mid-October 2019. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Love. What messages or guidance do we have for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? All right. Underlying energy, tradition, and hyphen. Could be dealing with a hyphen, but this could also be about tradition. So this could be legit you thinking about like what you believe as to be tradition in regards to your relationship. All right, so focal point right now, page of swords. I do feel like um, you could be at a delay right now. Could be dealing with some challenging information. Two of Pentacles here. You could be back and forth, or someone could be back and forth. Could also be being juggled. But the Two of Pentacles, there could be a lot of things that are going on. Four of Cups in the surrounding energy. I feel like someone's in a space of being closed off emotionally. May also be missing an opportunity for a relationship. Subconsciously, Ten Pentacles here. So I do feel like you're thinking about wealth, or you're thinking about commitment. With the Hyphen and the Ten of Pentacles, you could be thinking about commitment, and in a space of not being happy. Because you feel like maybe there's a delay to moving into one, maybe a back and forth. So with the three of wands, I feel like you could be trying to have patience, could be trying to manifest something new. With this two of, of wands here, I do feel like you're at a crossroads here, feeling conflicted, having internal conflictions, and feeling as though maybe you're delayed, really wanting to get out of this dark space. All right. So let's see here. My apologies. Why is this page of swords right here? Why is the page of swords right here? Why is this page of swords right here? Why is this page of swords right here? We have that is the lovers card, I believe. Let me make sure. Y'all know these Roman numerals in this card sister deck because they don't put nothing under there. I've lost them all. Yeah, because that's the lovers part here. So with the page of swords, I feel like there's a delay in this connection coming together. Um, with the queen of pentacles here, you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus. Or this could be a delay in nurturing this. Um, for some of you guys, someone needs to make a decision to nurture this, and that may be the delay. With the knight of pentacles, this could have been going on for a long time. Someone could also be delayed because someone is being very methodical or very slow within their actions. Four of Pentacles here, someone could be holding back what they feel with the Page of Cups here. So some of you guys could be at a delay because someone's holding back what they feel. They're not speaking or expressing what they feel. Two of Pentacles in the past energy. Why is two of here? We got the Ten Pentacles here. So someone could have been back and forth about commitment. Um, Eight of Pentacles really investing here. Someone wants some clarity. So that's maybe why someone's been back and forth about commitment because someone has been in the space of waiting, investing, setting seeds, but there's no clarity. Someone wants some clarity. So for some of you guys, the clarity could be that someone wants to wait on commitment and that can make you unhappy. Four of Cups here. Why is this Four of Cups in the surrounding energy? Why is this Four of Cups in the surrounding energy? Why is this Four of Cups? Energy. Six of Cups here. Ten Cups. So someone could have been in a relationship in the past. Um, someone could be in a relationship and that may be why they're missing this chance at a relationship because they're already in one. Six of Cups here could be childhood issues that you're having to overcome. This could also be, you know, a soulmate here that could be coming back around and you may be missing that opportunity. Whew. I think that is the Judgment card. Yes, 20th Judgment, right? 
Yes. So judgment here. I feel like here, someone, this could be a, oh shit. So this could be a soulmate coming back and you may not see this as someone coming back. You may not even see this opportunity because four of cups, you're so disappointed because things aren't moving forward. So you could legit be in a soulmate relationship that could lead to what you desire as a commitment. But I feel like there needs to be some type of clarity as to what commitment is because here, someone's making a decision to move forward here, maybe feeling discontent maybe coming back someone that could feel discontent about the delay that you guys have could be coming back and you could be in a space of allowing those ships to come in so ten pinnacles in the subconscious here someone i had the fool card under there so there may be an unexpected opportunity that you don't even see i feel like someone's making a decision to move forward though so um because they were unhappy could be dealing with the cancer could be dealing with scorpio could be dealing with cancer scorpio pisces could be dealing with aquarius why is this ten pinnacles here so in the past, someone could have been disappointed in the past, could have been disappointed with the Aquarius, could have been disappointed with um, a Cancer, but someone is now making a decision to move forward because of that disappointment. So 10 Pentacles here, this is about commitment. For some of you guys, you're, you're not looking for commitment, you're looking for abundance. So you could be in the space of lack, especially if maybe your beliefs don't reflect what's going on. Why is this 10 Pentacles here? Why is this 10 Pentacles here? Four Swords. So someone may be retreating from a relationship. Ten Swords, embracing the end of a difficult situation. Justice here. This is a divorce. So someone's retreating. So this is a divorce. Someone's getting a divorce here. Wanting to manifest something new. How, I mean, the um, Empress here. So I feel like this is, this is you. Or either you're dealing with the Taurus or Libra. Someone may be moving away. Because I do have Libra here. So some of you guys are divorcing a Libra could be divorcing a Libra or getting a divorce and really manifesting something that is stable and abundant. Not just stable with money, but stable and abundant. So this is what you're thinking about, abundance and stability. It's not so much commitment, I think, that you're thinking about. I think it's abundance and stability that you're wanting to manifest. So three of wands, why is this three of wands here? We have three of pentacles here. And the six of wands. So I feel like someone's finding their strength with nine wands here to really cooperate, to really put things in motion. I feel like you've been patient. You've been waiting for this. Eight of cups here. I feel like you walked away from this so that you can manifest something new. Now eight pentacles. I feel like there's some something that is being created here. Based off three of wands, your own expectations and manifestations. With the um, justice here again, I feel like a cycle is balancing out. I like this. I do. I like this a lot. All right. Or either you're balancing out by removing yourself from a situation that may have seemed stable, but was not abundant. So I feel like your 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 idea of what tradition is may be changing right now. You're manifesting something new. Manifesting stability and abundance. I feel like you need to stay optimistic. All right, so let's see what we have. So our guidance moving forward. What guidance do we have moving forward for Aries, Sun, Rise, and Venus? We have evolution. It says you realize that obstacles are merely lessons on your path to love. Yes, I feel like some of you guys are forgiven and transforming. It says you are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. You're transforming because you're evolving. Um, you're using the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. So some of you guys are getting out of relationships. You could be getting into relationships with unity and commitment here. I feel like you have a lot of patience. And right now, whether or not you're committing to a, a union, you're most definitely independent and really evolving as a person. So here it says you understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. And you dedicate yourself to your beliefs wholeheartedly, knowing that love is the essence of your very being. All right, so this is all I have. Until next time, y'all.